Hello and welcome back to this channel. So I know I haven't posted a video in a while over here, but I'm taking a tiny break from everything because I'm here meeting my family after three long years. I thought it's best to get back to YouTube with the request from one of you guys. That is, you wanted me to recreate a photograph that you took. This is the photograph and this is the painting. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and use this photograph and try to paint this with using pixel brushes in Adobe Fresco. So let's just get started. Click on create new, go into digital. I'm going to use the current screen size, but I'll just click on this tiny arrow here and switch to portrait and then click on it. Now let's go ahead and bring in the photograph. If you want to access this photograph, I have a link in the description box below. Go ahead and download it from there. I want to say thanks to the person who allowed me to share the photograph with all of you guys. By the way, if you have any requests, you can always contact me on Instagram. That is at print me some color or think beyond color. Let's bring in the photograph. Click on photos here. Choose your photograph and now it might come out small. Just enlarge it so that it's as big as our artboard like this and let's move it up here. So when you're moving this, if you notice that it is disappearing as you move outside this white artboard, there's a tiny little setting you need to change. I'll just show you what you have to do. Once you're done, click on done. Go to your settings and make sure your artboard preview is turned off. Only then you can see the image outside the artboard. Okay, let's go back here. All right, so for this painting, I'm going to be using pixel brushes that is under painting. You have canvas brush flat, canvas brush, and canvas detail. I'm going to be using these three brushes depending on what I'm painting. And if you click on this, you see this tiny little blue star here. That just means that I have a favorite it. That is, you can go here and click on the star and it shows up here under favorites. You can go ahead and do that if you want. Let's go ahead and click on the canvas brush flat. So the setting for this is I'm going to click and hold so that I'll get a nice little keypad and I can type in 250 like this and click outside. You can also click and use this slider to make it up and down. The flow is set to about 77. It's not necessary that it has to be exactly 77. It can be somewhere around this range. Now let's go ahead and paint this. But before that, take a look at this. This is a layer and there's a little icon here which shows an image. So this is the layer on which your image is there, but it looks blank because the image is not on the art part. So if I hide this, the image goes away. So you shouldn't be drawing on this layer. You really cannot anyway, but still let's click on a new layer. And now let's go ahead and draw the background of this guy. So I don't have a color palette for you guys because I wanted to show you that you can pick colors from your photograph itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to use your fingers and zoom in like this and then click and hold until that color gets picked up just like this. And now we'll use that color here and just draw. I'm going to increase this to about 800, I think, because I think the 200 mark is really less. And then I'm going to just draw. I'll again go here, pick this color because this is a little darker and there's a nice gradient, right? Like that. One thing you should notice is this brush has a very special property. If you don't put pressure, you can see the canvas come through. But if you put pressure, it's very opaque like this. OK, so we're going to use that technique of a little bit of pressure and no pressure when we are painting this scene. And one more thing, two finger tap is an undo. Let's go ahead and paint this here like that. I'm going to add a little bit of pressure over here and there like that. And I want this lighter gray a little bit more here like this. OK, now let's go ahead and choose this color and let's go ahead and add that over here until a little bit down. And then let's choose this and then this color a little bit over here like that. And this one goes this color here. And obviously darker color here and in the end we're going to use this really dark blue now that's done but it's not completely done because you can see those streaks so we need to smoothen these things out right now so for that we'll be using the smoothing tool so click here and go to your painting and use the same brush this canvas brush flat and now you can go ahead and actually smooth things out. By the way, you can also use your fingers to do this. If this doesn't work with your finger, there's a tiny setting here. Go to settings, 
app settings input and under this touch you can see finger settings so make sure you use it draw with a brush okay and then you can actually use finger as well if you want just going to go ahead and smooth things out and your stroke should always be like this even for the sky when you're applying the color it should always be like this and don't do it like this see it looks horrible and let's do that and when you're doing this with smoothing you might notice sometimes that there's this color which you never applied and it's showing up so be a bit careful about that if that keeps happening then you can just skip the smoothing part and it'll still be okay our sky is ready now so let's go ahead and add some clouds i'm going to click on a new layer i'm going to make most set of clouds on a different layer because if something is not nice you can always hide it okay so let's do this cloud first but for this i want to bring it down to about 200 something because i think that looks good it's 258 not a smooth thing you need to go to your brush sorry so 258 i'm gonna go ahead and choose this color that i have and i will just add this over here like this color it off see my strokes are always like that right so I'm going to add a bit here, like this, and there's one here. I think that should be good. That looks nice. I think it looks okay. It's not that bad, right? Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to add the darker parts to it. So go ahead and click and choose that color. And we're going to add some darks here. So you don't have to put a lot of pressure here when you're doing this. If you put a lot of pressure, then it will come out really dark and you don't want that to happen, right? See, there's a bit here in the edge over here, right? And then you can add a bit to the bottom of the cloud. So by the way, when you're doing this, if you feel, see, the brush is like this and it creates very thick lines. So if you want it thinner, just rotate it. And now when you do, the brush is like this right so it's easier to control when you want to add some thinner lines like this see how easy is that like that and now once you have added if you feel like it's too strong you can always go back to your smooth or smudge brush and lightly very lightly be very subtle don't put a lot of pressure this is too much pressure we don't want that put very very light things so that it's kind of a little bit smudgy but not exactly smudgy that's good and now it's time to make this cloud right here so we're gonna go ahead and choose that color okay go to your brush again and let's see it's somewhat here and something like this okay it's a bit dark isn't it i'm going to choose a lighter color here see when you move you can see the color change and we're going to choose a lighter color and add a bit so that our cloud is not super dark. But even if it's dark, it's totally okay. Don't freak out. It's completely fine because, you know, these are clouds. They come in different sizes and shapes and they keep changing every minute. So that's okay. There's one here. So we're going to go ahead and make that as well. That's like this and like that and something like this here like that it's so subtle and so smooth you can see that right so again it's a bit too strong go to your smudge tool and kind of smudge it a little bit so that it is a little fluffy and nice right don't overuse the smudge tool though because it makes your painting extremely extremely um, what do you call it? I mean, it won't be sharp in any places and you need some sharpness when you're painting anything, anywhere, right? At least in these kind of things. Okay, that's great. Now let's go ahead and make these clouds over here. So I'm going to click on a new layer. I want to choose this lighter color first. So let's go ahead and choose that and go to your brush and then let's add a bit here like that. Okay, and then I want some here as well. You see that little tiny bit? Just going to add a bit here. You can come back and change it later. This one over here. Mine is a little bit above. That's okay. Now take this darker color. And we're going to add some here like that. Okay, 
like this i want it to be more orangey so i'm going to go ahead and choose that light 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 color and here and let's choose this little darker color and add it here just below this color if it's not working let's take this itself and add a bit like that okay and let's choose this light color and add a bit like this Now let's click on a new layer and we're going to add this signature cloud in this. That is this one. See, I don't like how this turned out because I overused the smudge tool. Don't do this. Just leave it how it was and it'll still be fine. All right. So here we're going to use this one here. Okay. So the cloud is shaped like a, a duck. <laughs> so we're going to do that same thing here as well. So we are on a new layer now. Let's go back to our canvas brush. I'm going to choose some yellow and make sure you're tilting your brush a little bit and reduce this maybe 120 or something yeah this looks good I'm going to make a bit like that and you see my strokes right now I'm going to make these kind of strokes and let's choose a different color and then again draw and then choose a different color and then darker one by the way i'm gonna add some dark as well hold that and i want a really dark color this you know here this one and let's add that gonna go ahead and go add the yellow as well a bit later and I'm going to choose some yellow and I want some yellow but this is too thick you know that's why it's not coming out that nice I'm gonna choose a darker one so I'm not happy with how this is turning out by the way so i want some dark color so i'm going to choose this purple so why not okay and then choose some yellow and then we're going to go ahead and add yellow see there's a bit of yellow here bright yellow here in the cloud on the top as well so you're going to add that over there okay next i want this pinkish or whatever and i'm going to increase this a little bit and then i'm going to add a bit here like that i know it's so messy so messy but don't worry next click on this one here and let's increase this to about 200 or something and let's make that cloud like this There you go. You can add a bit here to create that, you know, nice little effect. Okay. So as you can see here and all, you can just go ahead and add a bit purple so that this yellow gets highlighted. And if you want, you can choose some yellow, very nice yellow, bright ones, and then give it a little bit so that it looks pretty nice. Okay. There you go that's our cloud mine is a little thicker this is very thin but that's okay i tried filming this video two times and something or the other happened with the recording and every single time i ended up with a different kind of cloud i'll show you to you later by the way anyway now let's make this one so go ahead and choose the lightest orange that you have here click on a new layer let's go ahead and add that here here like that like that and let's choose the darker one and add a bit of darker color and over here this a little bit you know that's why okay and now i want to fix this so i'll choose this darker color again and i want some wait a minute this has to be a little bigger 
Okay, I'm going to add a bit of darker clouds here. As you can see, what's happening here, right? So let's add that and make sure we have a tiny little sun peeping through, or you know, a little bit of sun peeping through, basically, like that. And you can fix all those things by just putting this color. There you go. Your sky is ready. So this is super easy to create. And now let me just show you the other skies that I've created because of the video editing problem. This was the one which we created right now. And this was the one which I created before that. And see, it's much, much better than what I created just now. And over here, this another one. So you can see there are three versions of it. Just forget about this. This was just a trial. So these are the three versions that I created while trying to film because my phone was having some issue or the other. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. You can always support this channel by buying me a coffee at coffee.com. You can find the link to do that in the description box as well. I also have a tiny store on coffee.com. So if you want to buy something or oh, there are some freebies as well. So do go check it out. If you want to know what I'm doing on a day to day basis, just follow me on Instagram. That's at Prinvi Sankala and at Thing Beyond Color. If you do create something, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to check it out. Okay, I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.